1921 piece. Sorry? That English football is a 1921. 1921? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So that was one of the pieces they, one of the used games they bought when they first opened in 1931. Wow. That's... Still plays for a pin. That's very historical, you know. I don't go that far back. I wish to work in an arcade in Australia. Oh, yeah? So I've always had a love of these machines. Yeah. And I know a lot of the Midway people, you know, right. the Midway Bailey's people. Right. Because I was doing Mortal Kombat stuff. Oh. And they made that game. Uh -huh. So I know a lot of, like, you know, Ed Boone and John Tobias and yeah. uh, Steve Ritchie. I'm sure you know that guy. Uh, a lot of pinballs. Stern Pinball. I'm trying to think what the guy's name was, because uh, we have uh, um, Stuart's Off-Road Racing. Oh, okay, right. And he was one of the designers of the game. Yeah, yeah, most likely, yeah. And yeah. he came in and he wanted to know where the game was. Wow. And yeah. then a few weeks ago, we had the world record holder on Joust. Oh, really? Yes, and he came in and put the world record on both of our Joust games. Five and a half hours per game. Five and a half hours. Yeah, he was here for both our both through two shifts <laughs> until he maxed out the, 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 the high scores. It's funny because there's um, the original Mortal Kombat had an advert, advert a flyer for it uh -huh. with two guys being sort of pulled into the machine by two of the characters. One of the kids is like. A record holder at pinball, that's what he does. Oh, really? That's because his, his uh, parents, his name's uh, Zachary Sharp, his parents were all involved in the pinball industry. Yeah. He'd wait. They needed a kid for the fly, so he's in Sunny, you know, and that's what he does now. He plays all the pinballs. He's like number three ranked in the world or something on all the pinballs. So, yeah, so this is one of the oldest still remaining arcades in the nation. Trust me, I know, and I'm from Australia. Yeah, yeah, they started in 1931. Yeah, 31. Yeah. And so that's why we've got all of these. Yeah, I love it. I love the history. So all this stuff's been kicking around back in here since, you know, for 81 years now. Oh, that's great. You know, yeah, like I said, I love the history of arcades. And, oh, yeah. You know, I look them up online to see where the good ones are. You know, apparently this one always comes up. Uh -huh. When you do Google search, America, arcades, yeah. this one, and there's another one somewhere. It's like two big ones. Oh, yeah. And they have a show in California called California Extreme every year in July. Yeah. And they have huge, they bring all the machines out there too, you know. But I don't know if they bring stuff like, like that old out there, like yeah. English, English football like yeah, that. that's or, all original too. You know, I've never seen, you know, the, the, peeping, the peeping Tom sort of, <laughs> you know, the adult sort of uh, games like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, yeah, so, huge interest in it. You know, this, this, in this building, it's, yeah, everything's just so cool. All this yeah. stuff. This video, I'm, ma I'm making a, like a documentary. Yeah. It's going to go up on my channel on YouTube. I've got like 12,000 subscribers on there. Wow, so, cool. So maybe some people will come down here and see you. you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, your ski ball building over there. So, yep. Yeah, those are 1962. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they're the, like the original, they're the original ski balls, are they? Well, the uh, ski ball been around since the 30s. Right. In one form or another. Oh, okay, right. And, uh, and so I think sometime in the late 40s or early 50s is when the Philadelphia Toboggan Company bought them out. Right. Uh, yep. And uh, and then you know they got in that shape that we have here. Yeah, the ramp up. Yeah, and those yeah. have been here showed up new in 1962. Wow. I noticed a lot of machines say Chicago Coin on them. I've never even yeah. heard of Chicago, Chicago Coin. Coin. Did they become like a Bailey's or a Midway or? No, uh, they were their own standalone. Because I know they were in Chicago, but yeah. you know Midway Bailey's Williams. Yeah, and so yeah, Chicago Coin just made gobs and gobs of all sorts of arcade games. Mm. You know, from the, uh, probably from the 30s on, maybe even earlier than that. I've never even and seen one of those they, in Australia. I think they went out of business sometime in the, uh, in the early 70s. Right. You know, because when video games hit, a lot of these arcade games, you know, are... Yeah, it was hard on the pinballs when the video games yeah. came out. Yeah, the upright yeah. cabinets and all that, yeah. Right. So, when you walk around through this building, you can really see the transition. From old, For sure. old style, and yeah. first videos, and, and yeah. uh, you know, when we first, we, when we got Pong, <laughs> uh, people were lined up to play. Yep. And see, I have to find Pong these days. We've got the carcass in the basement. Oh, okay, right. But no monitor yes. because no. <laughs> the monitors were specially made. Yeah, they were. And the old monitors are really, a real... Yeah. 
So once Pitch the monitor went set. in that, you know, the game was history. Yep. And so we have the carcass down, and we've got the game, but no monitor or cabinet. Yeah. You might be able to run a um an external monitor off the board. Maybe. <laughs> Well, I gotta get back. No worries. It was nice chatting with you. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much for the history. <laughs> Center picture, the one that's a little faded. Yeah. 
And it's Bingo Jack. That's the guy who started this business. Oh, wow. And his youngest son is now the one who owns it. For the Arcade Amusements, Inc.? Yeah. Oh, nice. And uh, his story is ran away from home when he was a little teenager, like 13 or 14, joined the circus. Right. Traveled the country as a, as a young teenager working in circus. Yep. Just like in the movies. Yep. And uh, ended up here and then started this business in 1931. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> was that Bingo Jack. Bingo Jack. Yeah, because he, uh, <laughs> he had bingo in, these, in some of these buildings uh, over the years. All right. And, uh, I don't know if any Mortal Kombat here. Where are you, all your Mortal Kombat? Um, Mortal Kombat are on the. There's a group of outside machines over here. Yep. And then another one up farther. Yep. It's on one of those paths. Yeah, it's pretty fixed, so it's, it's not there at the moment. I spoke to like the owner here yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Just getting a monitor or something there. Oh, all right. But I thought you might have like all of them. You know, there's a lot of them. There's like four, four arcade versions. Yeah. And yeah, I think you had Ultimate MK3. Which one? Ultimate MK3. I think so. Yeah. I just thought you'd have. have no, because those those were big arcade games, you know. Oh yeah. So I thought they'd sort of still be in here, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you have everything at one time or another yeah. uh, over the years. Just moved in and, and disappeared. And uh, <laughs> you know, and as things progress, you know, it's like so a lot of the old games people just wouldn't play anymore. Yeah. And then they start kind of wearing out to the point where it wasn't cost effective to repair them anymore. Yep. And uh, but uh, pretty much now we're holding on to all these old vintage games. You got the most vintage I've ever seen, for sure. And, uh, like I said, some of these I haven't even seen in Australia. Oh, yeah. Never even made their way over to our shore. Yeah. <laughs> None of those Chicago coin games. Chicago coin here, that's a 30s piece. 30s, yeah. And, uh, you can really see the um the history in it too. Yeah, you know, it's got the deco style cabinet. Mm. Uh, plastic is the uh, Bakelite. Ah, oh, right, yep. And yep. they did so much. They were so intense when they were doing things in those days. The little hockey players bending over from having faces. <laughs> so if you look up underneath, they've got actual face. Attention to details, where Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's you awesome. Know, and I just, I, I love the graphics on all this stuff. It's just, it's just, yeah, I just love it. Well, it, well, the old games have to be hand drawn, you know? So oh, yeah. Way before computers. Yeah. It really does show the artistic flair first. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, and, and these things were just built for that. Mm. They're just really, really built for that. The mechanical ones, yeah, they yeah. things are just going on yeah. there. So the cabinets, you know, they're heavy wood cabinets, and, you know, and all the graphics are just wonderful. Most of the play fields, like on the pinball machines, they lasted so long because they are lead base paint. Yep. And, uh, you know, and the new ones just wear out, wear out, wear out. Bad. Yeah, you see like the, um, the newer ones out there, like the 90s ones, like you know, Operation Wolf or something, the sun's yeah. just killed the, oh, yeah. just killed the paint, oh, yeah. killed the, um, the printing on them, uh -huh. you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas these, they don't really sun play, I've noticed. Yeah, the yeah, sun doesn't no. destroy them. Yeah, they're just, you know, the whole place is just cool and it's so different. Mm -hmm. You know, because people come in here and they see things they've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, speech. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like I said, I'll be showing this to a lot of, a very young generation of, of YouTubers, you know, so. Wow, yeah. there's stuff out there that, that was for video games. Yeah, I think they will come and see you, you know. I got a lot of people that wanted to come down and meet me here and play Mortal Kombat with me, you know. I just locked out on that. Well, have a good time in this party. I will. It's Thank you very much.
This is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Check this out. It's got Super Nintendo games on it. I've actually had a go at this before. They're the controllers. Um, I played Mario World before, and it was one quarter for one level. So there's 96 levels in Mario World, so that'll cost you a fair bit to play every level. So uh, I actually won the level, I didn't die. But if I want to keep playing, quarter a level.
like track music, awesome. Trying to get me to put my quarters in. The house of the world. It's hard to find the original these days. One of my favourites. The original is probably the only one I really like the most.
Jolie. Is it all over this time that you're doing? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.